no traction at all. All right, guys, so we just arrived at Jesse's Mufflers and Brakes, and he's got a couple bro cars out here. Anyway, before we get started on tearing into this exhaust and building this new custom setup, I wanted to let you guys hear what the factory exhaust sounds like so you have something to compare it to. And just to introduce myself guys, my name is Rick, I'm one of the co-founders of Throttle. Uh, Mickey, Evan and I founded Throttle in 2015. Uh, I haven't been in a ton of the vlogs, but hopefully that's going to be changing. I got a bunch of cool projects going on right now and uh, I really want to share them with you guys. And I should probably introduce you guys to the car a little bit. Um, so this is a 2006 CLS 55 AMG. It has a DPE forged wheels on it. The ride height's been lowered and other than that, it is completely stock, but not for long. So we're gonna be doing a bunch of stuff to this car and with the help of my buddy Adam, we're gonna make this look how I think it should have looked from the factory. Um, let me give you a little exhaust rev so you can hear what the factory exhaust sounds like. So AMGs are kind of known to have that deep growl and I really like the sound of it, but it's just, honestly, it's just too quiet for me. What's up, man? Are you Jesse? Yes, sir. Hey, man, Rick, good to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. So what are we doing today? Uh, we're gonna make this, uh, this boy sound like a real car. <laughs> yeah, good, good. <laughs> and then, so, so the plan would be to delete the factory mufflers and keep the factory resonators yes. and that should give it like a nice growl and, and hopefully not too much drone on the freeway too. By deleting your mufflers, what, what happens usually is your resonators, they act as a high flow muffler because they're straight through. Okay. So the muffler is the one that creates the, more, the most uh, back pressure and, uh, and restriction. Yes, yeah, so and restriction. If we do delete the, the mufflers, the resonators act as your high flow mufflers. Okay. You think we might pick up a little power? We will pick up a little power. Sweet. You know? A few minutes later. It's been a while since I've been under this car. So, this is the stock exhaust all the way back. It actually looks like maybe twin 2.75 inch piping all the way back. Uh, this is the factory resonator and then splits out and wise out into two mufflers. That muffler there, and then this muffler here. So this is the resonator that is gonna act as your high flow muffler since it's a straight through deal. This is a resonator and also um, more of an X pipe type thing. You know? Okay. Because it, it, uh, it unites and it combines both left and right um, uh, uh, exhaust. So then we're going to have to cut somewhere around here and just go straight through a muffler delete. The hardest thing to do here in this, in this part is uh, to keep these things together. Okay. Uh, I have a way to keep it up together because once you cut them, then you lose the angle of the pipes. Yeah. It's really, really, really hard to get it together again. Sure. So before we do that, we're going to do a little trick that I've got up my sleeve. You know? So guys, I, I noticed a little bit of uh, shaking in the steering wheel at about 70, 80 miles an hour. And uh, I wanted to take a look at the front wheels. Look at this wheel. So I think it's time for either new wheels or getting these things repaired because that is just ridiculous. I've never seen an inner barrel look like that before. So Jesse, why don't you tell everybody what you do down here? Uh, we do exhaust, we build mostly it's a um, high performance exhaust. And uh, I've been doing this for a little bit over 20 years. It's the only thing I know how to do. <laughs> I try to do it right. That's awesome. Yeah. So uh, you guys do everything like Subarus, BMWs, Mercedes, Subaru, BMWs. anything? Uh, yes. uh, if you have an idea in your head that you want, I'll, make, I'll try to make it happen. In fact, okay. I'll make it happen. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to make this as clean as possible. This is the stock look of the, of the pipe of the car. So we're gonna cut right off the weld of the muffler. Um, what that will allow us to do is that will allow us to keep this muffler intact and if we ever for whatever reason you want to sell the vehicle you want to trade it you know in this case it's we're going for the sports uh, uh, sound and look but uh, some cases you know they want to go back to stock and so it, it will make it a lot easier for the muffler to go back in there okay uh, in a very clean way Muffler one is removed. Muffler number two is out. So the trick here is to keep these two together as 
as is without losing that angle. And so if we, if we cut them off, um, both of them at the same time without attaching them together, they're, the angle is just totally gonna get ruined. And so what we're gonna do, we cut some uh, uh, four and a half inch pieces of, uh, of hanger, and we're gonna attach this thing together right here, right up at the top where it's not visible because you don't want the angle. You want the, you want to see this, you don't want to see anything else. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna <coughs> weld this and attach them together. Kind of strengthen that up a little bit with a, with a little piece of metal here in the center. Good. Then you can just chop the tips right and off and not have to worry about it. Cut them at the base, and after that. Um, We'll be making a white pipe to get these two together into one and reattaching it to the end of this. Perfect. See, so now we have the tip as a, as a one piece instead of a two piece. Yeah. It's a lot easier. To really smart idea. To keep it, keep it together and try to open this. Perfect. These exhaust tips have gotten really nasty, dirty over the years, so uh, I'm gonna clean these up with some steel wool and make them shine like new. <clears throat> Finished product? I think it looks pretty good, huh? Looks like new. Looks definitely, nice. definitely a lot better than it was, for sure. I love the factory AMG tips. They look yes. really good. This is a two inch pipe. And this is a two and a quarter. This is gonna go over this. So we're gonna make a white pipe to go over this. That way we won't downsize you know, okay. in the process or anything like that. Cool, so you're gonna make the white pipe now. We're gonna make the white pipe, yeah. There is uh, there is no actual white pipe that fits um, this distance. Sure. Usually the, uh, the universal white pipes are a little bit more closed down or a little bit more opened up. So this is, since we already have this and this is not moving, mm -hmm. we have to create a white pipe. To fit, to better fit this uh, tip right here. This is when your friend experience comes in handy as far as making the cuts for the white pipe and things like that. Um, there's no real tool to measure it with but uh, sight and uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna try to put my skills to the test. <laughs> Just eyeballing it, just nails it. That's right. Perfect wide pipe. What's up, man? Hey, hey. So guys, this is Adam. Adam is the uh, local San Diego, well, I guess you call it M113K chassis expert. Yeah. Yeah, so how many of these cars have you built? I've owned, with this motor, 40 of them. Wow. So E55, CLS55, S55. That's, that's awesome. So you guys are gonna be seeing a lot more of Adam. Um, he's gonna be helping a lot with this project. I'm really, really excited to have him on board. Uh, you guys can follow his builds on uh, Instagram at SoCal Tires. Yep. Uh, we'll put that in the description to the video as well so you guys can follow him. So we met because I actually bought a part for my car from Adam and I saw his uh, CLS AMG and his E55 and both the cars were just insane. Um, and he offered to help out with the project so we're really stoked to have him on board. Um, he's the guy who hooked us up with the uh, 
exhaust shop here and uh, is also helping with a ton of the other mods that we have planned in the next few videos. Can't wait, it's gonna be night and day difference. Night yeah, it's gonna, be total, it's gonna totally transform the car. And we'll see if our, our little temp works. All right. Cool. Looks pretty good, huh? Looks pretty good. Looks like we're getting there. This is the most critical part, guys. We wanna get the uh, spacing right, make sure they're spaced out enough from the bumper. Make sure they look a little more like OEM plus and make sure they're centered. So we want the tips to be a little bit more exposed. A, that's what she said. So we can see the AMG writing. And that looks perfect. You guys got the initial tack in place there. Nice. Good looking weld. That looks awesome. Let's see what it looks like up here. Yeah. So we are going in with the second side now. This is the finished product guys, we're bringing it down. Yeah, the tips look perfect. They just spaced them out just a little bit so you can see the AMG from looking down from the top. I think it looks amazing. Just a nice OEM plus look. All right, here we go. First startup. Oh man. That is incredible. What a difference over the stock exhaust. Jesse, you're a magician, man. Is, man. You are a magician. Thank you so Finish much. Product, yeah. I really appreciate it. So guys, go check out Jesse. We'll put the link to Jesse's muffler shop in the description. I think it's to his Instagram, uh, but check him out. He does custom exhaust for everything in the San Diego area. All right, Rick. Let's do it. Cold start. Cold start. Cold start. Let's get the reaction. Ooh, cold start. Oh, that's an ass cold start. <laughs> sounds like a Mustang. Sounds like a, sounds like a V8. Yeah. Sounds like a V8. Very throaty. See, it's not that bad, right? It's no, quiet. it's not really. It's not too loud. It does sound good when you start it up. All right, let's give it a little juice. Jesus. You're just spinning, dude. No <laughs> traction at all. This car's so fast. It's is there traction control or no? Yeah, there's traction control. Was it on? Yeah. You need some, some new tires for this car. You're like, we dude, some this is going to be the most unusable thing when you add all this power. I know. We're adding... Need some like Falcon Azenus, something, something sticky. It's like unusable already. Already, I know. It's weird, it, it's like a Euro muscle car. That's yeah. what this is. <laughs> Dude. Like driving on the ice. Yeah, give, it, give us a little pull away. Whoa, it's loud. That is loud. <laughs> it's crazy because when you're in the car, it doesn't seem that loud. No. And from the outside, that's loud. That is really loud. Hopefully the neighbors, the neighbors are gonna get pissed at us. <laughs> Whoa. That car's really fast. 
but the biggest issue is I can, you can feel the tire spinning and you can yeah, see it. So it's like it's shaking. Like, yeah. It's like ice skating. Gonna need some better tires. It's loud. It's pretty loud from the outside, yeah. A huge shout out to Jesse from Jesse's Muffler and Brake and also Adam from SoCal Tires. You guys killed it, man. This is, this is incredible. What a difference the exhaust has made in the way that this car drives, the sounds it makes, and just everything about it is drastically improved. So guys, we're gonna have a ton more CLS content coming up. We have some supercharger upgrades, an intercooler upgrade, an intercooler pump upgrade. We should be adding like 100 wheel horsepower to this car. On top of that, we have some aesthetic stuff. I have a new carbon fiber front lip, carbon fiber rear lip spoiler, and a whole bunch of other stuff. So guys, please subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more CLS content. We got tons of great stuff coming. Bye.